Hey guys. So in this video, let's talk about vendor bill versus expense. Um, I have done so many cleanup projects actually, and people get so confused with vendor bill versus expense um, that they end up creating a huge mess. And most of the projects that I do, most of the cleanup projects that I do have the similar kind of issues. Um, so let's see what to do and what not to do when it comes to vendor bills versus expenses. But before we get to the actual accounting part, I want to ask you for a favor. Would you please hit subscribe if my videos are helping you? When you hit subscribe, when I get more subscribers, I get more motivation to do more and more videos and produce the content for free to help your businesses. So please do hit subscribe if my content is helping you. And do let me know if you have a video suggestion. So, and I'll try my best to make a video for that. Thank you. So let's talk about vendor bill versus expense first. Okay, so start with vendor bill. So vendor bill is basically a purchase that you haven't paid for yet. Okay, you're gonna pay it for it in future. Expense is a purchase as well, but something that you have paid for already via cash, check, credit card, etc. Okay, so same thing, but just different ways of entering it. Now, how is it different? How do you account for both in QuickBooks? So let's start with how to enter a bill first. So to enter a bill, you'll click on new and bill. We're gonna pick a vendor. Enter a date. Let's enter 8.30. Bill number is whatever. And it's an insurance expense. And let's say we say it's $125. Okay, we save it. Now, how do we enter an expense? Let's see, we're gonna click on new and expense. Now we're gonna pick the same vendor and let's say we paid it via credit card and we're gonna pick a different date now, a different month. Insurance expense, again, same thing, a purchase that you have made but already paid for it. So 125 again, now save. Okay, we're done entering the bill, we're done entering the, uh, the expense. Let's look at our reports and see how it affects it. So I'm gonna right click on this tab and click duplicate so I can open another tab instead of going back and forth in the same tab. So I'll click on reports. And I will pull my PL report. Let's pull two months report so I can show it to you clearly. And we'll go by months. Okay, so when you look at the insurance expense, when we entered the expense, it showed up here in September. September 3rd is when we entered the expense. When I entered the bill, what I did was I entered it in August actually. So it shows up here. However, my bill is unpaid. So it's showing up in accrual, which is basically anything that you have, any expenses you have incurred are gonna show up in accrual expense regardless of you have paid for them or not yet, okay? So it's showing up here. But when I switch it to cash basis, it should disappear. Only thing I should see is the cash expense. So that's the difference. Okay, now, Another thing we need to do is when you enter a bill, you need to make sure that you record the payment as well when you actually make a payment. So let's say we made the payment. We're gonna go to new. We're gonna go to pay bills. And we're gonna record the payment for this, uh, this bill, BNY. Okay, how did I pay for it? I paid it via bank. Okay, payment date. Okay, September, that's fine. Just gonna say save and close. Okay, now let's go to our report and see how it changes now. Accrual basis is still the same, 125, 125. Now cash basis is gonna change now. Watch how this becomes 250. Because now my expense and the bill payment both are in September. Now some do's and don'ts with uh, vendor bill versus expenses. 
vendor bill plus payment equals expense. The kind of mistake I see in most of the cleaner projects that I get is people enter the vendor bills, but they never close it. They never record the payment towards it. But what they do is when they make a payment, they record it again as an expense. So what ends up happening then is a vendor bill stays open. Your accounts payable stays overstated and your expenses are overstated as well because you entered the vendor bill, which increased your expense. And then you entered the expense as well. So on a cruel basis, if you look at it, it's going to create a problem. So you don't want that. So either you pick vendor bill plus payment, which is my preferred method to do because it gives you both accurate reports, both on a cruel and cash basis, or you pick just the expense. So never do vendor bill plus expense. Do vendor bill plus payment, payment of that bill, or just do expense. Again, preferred method, vendor bill plus payment. But if you have made this kind of error before in your QuickBooks where you have entered a bill and then instead of closing it with a payment, you have entered another expense and duplicated your expense. I made a video a few months ago. I'm going to put the link in description for that. That's going to help you clean it up. Okay. So do watch that video if you, if you have those kind of issues in QuickBooks. So that's all about vendor bill versus expense. Um, and if you have any questions, any comments, do let me know. That's it. This is how you would go about recording vendor bill versus expense. Uh, thank you and happy accounting.